All right, welcome back to Bianca's Tarot. Today I am reading for the legendary Nicki Minaj. Um, I I also want to say you, a lot of I do get a lot of celebrity requests on here, and um, one thing you're gonna notice with me on my channel, I don't really like to pull on um, celebs energy a lot. Like so, if I've already done a celebrity um, within the year most likely i'm not gonna read for them twice in one year like most likely not um i don't really feel like it's um necessary so um for those who like were like requesting celebs i've already done within the year like it's i usually i'm not gonna do it like twice and i usually just just that's just me um so yeah I, last time i read for Nicki minaj was last year um, and somebody said I did predict her pregnancy, which, um, that's cool, but, you know, I feel like, I feel like that's kind of like, um, what's the word? Like, anyone could kind of predict that, you know? Like, it's not that specific, but it's cool that somebody, um, told me that in the comments in one of my videos the other day, so thank you for that. But anyway, let's tap in, um, so Nicki Minaj, how is she doing? We got victory and success, okay. Solitude and spiritual union. Right now she is really focused on her success, um, doing what she has to do. This is like my six of wands card here. I also feel like she is in a hermit mode. Um, I feel like she's in more of a hermit mode than not. Um, I also have a feeling that like she's, um, Yeah, she just is like really focused on like her goals right now and the spiritual union card i think she's um you know i would i already know she's not single but i do feel like she is emotionally connected to somebody which signals to me that she's with somebody hold on guys i have to turn off my my air conditioner because i don't want i don't want it to be too loud hold on All right, y'all, sorry for that. I just had to lower it. Um, but yes, yeah, so I don't have to scream. Yeah, I have passion ignited. I think she's just focused on her passions and her goals and her relationship, um, whoever she's emotionally connected to, which I'm assuming is her husband. So let's see how, what Taro says about how she's doing. How is she doing? Ace of Pentacles, Temperance, the Tower. Okay, oh God, I don't. What's going on? All right, Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Tower here? I feel like she's um, in some court or like legal issue with a woman. It feels like there's like a legal issue going on behind the scenes with a woman. I think this case has been going on for a long time. Um, there's some sort of legal issue that's um, a, a, a bother right now that could be happening in the future or like or it's going on right now but I feel like it's going on presently so I will jump to love everybody always ask about her love life how is her love life doing ace of swords judgment two of cups I mean, I feel like she feels like she's with her person, honestly. She feels like they're meant to be. She feels like they're connected right now or connecting. Um, the Queen of Cups, Ace of Swords. Like, she really does love the guy. Um, Ten of Swords. Ace of Cups. It feels like there's been like healing in the relationship or like there was some issues but like it's like healed or like better i hate to use the word healed but i it just that's just what i'm feeling it feels like they've overcome some conflict together with the ten of swords under the two of cups um but she really does feel like this is like her like ride or die i'm hearing like her real like soulmate like in her perspective i don't know if he's really her soulmate um, but in her perspective, she feels like she's like with her forever love. Um, 
Let me see. How is her love life? Go slow. Take the time to get to know each other. Yeah, I almost wonder if they've been through like a couples therapy type of thing because it feels like there's like a healing, like um, like a renewal of some of some sort. Um, acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. Soulmate. I just said that she feels like she's with her soulmate. And I don't feel like they're breaking up anytime soon. I don't get that at all. I don't get that at all. Um, she's It's like ride or die type of feel. Bonnie and Clyde type of thing. Um, so moving on to her career. I will ask a question that I have been getting a lot. I'll just put it in this video. But um, how does she feel towards her career? The Emperor. She feels like she's getting shit done. She's making... Why is the tower every time... I remember I pulled the tower before and I got a legal issue. Um, she feels like there's progress. Um, and she's like, she's doing a lot of boss moves. Like a lot of, um, she could be um, pairing up with a, a guy in charge. He's really respected for what he does. Like heavily respected. A lot older than her. Um, Look, I can't make this up. I can't make this up. This is why I read with multiple decks. I got the Tower and Justice again. There's some sort of legal issue going on. Like, um, and I have the King of Wands. I don't know if that represents the lawyer here or who the case is against or whatever. There's a legal issue going on with her music or like her, whatever she does for her career. Like, I, I don't know if, if it's known, but it's like, there's like a, a it's a, I mean, the Tower and Justice, that's pretty heavy. It feels like there's some sort of legal battle um, going on with, like, um, her career. It's related to, like, I'm hearing, like, the rights of something. Um, but besides that hiccup, I feel like she's just getting shit done. And I think she's very focused and very motivated. Um, I don't think she's slacking at all. It feels like she's um, working with some sort of guy. And you, know, and, you know, funny enough, it doesn't feel like it's music related to me. I know most people are going to ask about, like, um, album coming out. It has nothing to do with music, actually. It's, like, other things. I don't think it has anything to do with music. It, it just doesn't feel like that for me. Um, career, love, family. Let's see how she feels towards her family. Oh, actually, before, I will ask how she feels towards Cardi. <laughs> Um, I get that question a lot. I never did a video on those two that the beef they had yours. How does she feel towards her now? She doesn't care. She really doesn't care. She feels, she still feels like Cardi is like a toxic person and she feels like she's just avoiding the situation. Like, I don't think she's like cool with her, but I feel like she is like over it. But she, she still feels like Cardi is, like, toxic. Um, she also feels like Cardi is, like, delusional. Like, she feels like Cardi B is delusional. Um, and she just wants to avoid it. Especially with the Hermit card. Like, she's just avoiding the situation. How does she feel towards her family? Four of Wands. I think there's celebrations happening in the family. It feels like, it feels like it's somebody's birthday right now. Um, or someone... Yeah, it feels like it's somebody's birthday. Uh, I'm just kidding, picking that up. Oh, I got the tower. I don't like the tower here. Um, it feels like, okay, it feels like there's a celebration of an anniversary or a birthday. I think there's um, celebration of a baby as well. I do know she's pregnant. Um, it could be related to somebody else in the family, but it feels like there's celebration, like good news. There's a lot of celebrations happening. Um, There could be, there could have been a falling out with, um, there was a huge disagreement in the family. I think it was related to two people. Uh, I got an older woman here. It feels like a couple actually. So an aunt and uncle or a two people together. I think there was a huge fallout with someone in the family. Um, it's caused a rift between her and two people in the family. I feel like they're still not speaking. Um, I think there could be communication with that, with the King of Wands and Knight of Cups. 
um it's kind of all over the place like i feel like in some areas when it comes to her family there's like a lot of celebrations right now i'm hearing like anniversaries there's something birthdays there's something to be celebrated but i also get this like rift between um, her and two people and i think it like kind of stayed there i don't feel like they've talked i think the male energy here would like to speak to her excuse me but um yeah it's, it's actually caused like a lot of um awkwardness and issues within the family i wonder if it's about her brother I'm, I'm not trying to put my own bias in the reading but i just wonder um because what her the things that happened with her brother and I, I i know somebody else passed in the family too I, I i do feel like with the tower being here it doesn't surprise me but um how does she feel about her brother's situation she feels like he's getting what he deserved she doesn't agree with it at all she doesn't really stand by him um she feels like justice was served like she doesn't um she i don't i, I don't want to this is a entertainment purposes only but for the justice card to come out first and the death card i don't feel like there's a strong relationship with them i feel like she feels like he's serving his karma i i really feel i don't think she feels like he's innocent um It's like loving someone from a distance. That's just what I get. I, I don't think she, she, it's an unfortunate situation, but I, I do feel like there's like a love from a distance and I feel like it, she feels like it's his karma. Um, the brother, how does she feel towards, I think I did everything, career, love, family, friendships, friendships, her friendships, strength, ace of wands, king of cups i think her friendships are this is the best spread in the reading i feel like there's been friends that have been with her through tough times i think there's a female friend that she's not close to right now that it's kind of um she misses but for the most part i feel like there's great support um and i feel like there's more male friends than female friends at this time um so to close it all off what is coming in here in near future with the oracle cards in the near future for her stand your grounds i see her standing up for herself i see her chasing after what she wants and there could be something shifting with a base chakra for her with her base chakra um I have the shadow card too she might have some things that come up that are going to be uncomfortable for her to deal with but i really feel like for the most part there's progress in her life like i feel like she's just chasing after what she wants um let's see what the tarot has to say king of swords i got this guy here it could be her husband um queen of wands king queen hierophant i actually see her like high priestess she's really committed to this relationship i feel like they might like renew their vows or do something like really special in remembrance of their wedding or something it feels like there's something like special being planned about like it's really she's really just focused on her like being a mother and her relationship and her goals like that's really the gist of it especially with the empress what's gonna be the gender of the baby Um, imagine if she has twins I feel like uh, it feels like more of a masculine energy but I can't tell um, and if it is a girl the girl's gonna be more like it's definitely gonna be a kid I'm hearing it reminds me of like the Smith family like I think the, this kid that she's having is gonna go into the arts too um it feels like uh i really actually can't tell but if i had to guess it's definitely a, the the child is gonna go into like the arts like her like the the same industry so that's like my that's yeah that's basically my reading for nikki um thank you guys for watching um thank you for the request uh if you have any more requests please comment below and i will see you guys in my next video bye